If you're considering moving to Fort Collins, one thing that you're probably going to notice is, hey, those housing prices are pretty expensive. That's fine. Go look for some deals. But in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the five worst neighborhoods here in Fort Collins, Colorado. What's up, everybody? This is Patrick Suka with Suka Real Estate here in Fort Collins. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. If what you're looking at finding out is everything Fort Collins, living, playing, eating, working. And at the end of this video, if you wouldn't mind, if you like the content, give it a big thumbs up. And as much as we like making these videos, we like more working with buyers and sellers and investors here in Fort Collins with all their real estate needs. So send me text, call, email, whatever works for you. We're working with so many people coming in from out of state right now. It's so much fun. We're having a blast. So if you're considering moving or relocating to Fort Collins, give us a call. We got your back. Without any further delay, let's jump in to the five worst neighborhoods and Fort Collins. Before we jump in, some of the parameters that we went by are crime, police activity, schools, how close it is to other amenities, housing appreciation, and affordability. So those are the, some of the things that we looked at when looking at what the worst neighborhoods are in Fort Collins. Number five, Skyview. Now this is an interesting neighborhood because there are some opportunities for some fix and flips. It is a little funky because it does sit behind an auto dealership and really pretty close to 287. It's on the south side of town, pretty close to Loveland. It is more affordable, but there are quite a bit of rentals, homes that have been lived in for many, many years, need substantial amount of work boats on the driveways, backyards, you know, in disarray, you know, let's take a drive down the neighborhood and see what you think of Skyview. Number five, worst neighborhood in Fort Collins. Number four, Mountain View Heights. Let's take a drive down the neighborhood, see what you think. All righty, we are at another worst of Fort Collins neighborhood, Mountain View Heights, Northwest Fort Collins. Sorry, Northwest of Old Town, Fort Collins. North, one of the pros is absolutely that you're about a five to seven minute drive to downtown, to the middle of Old Town Square. Cons is smaller houses, tons of rentals, no HOA, which is great for some, but uh, you've got people working on their cars and different driveways, funky colored houses, weird, house signs you do have schools nearby price point 2020 median sales price for this neighborhood was three hundred and forty thousand dollars there's lots of future potential opportunity here but you're going to have a ton of rentals if you move in here and a definitely lower price point and some frustration maybe of neighbors doing things that you'd much prefer not to be done so mountain view heights one of the worst of fort collins neighborhoods Alrighty, so obviously this neighborhood is got a lot of cool things going with it being so close to downtown Fort Collins. West of Shields used to be a pretty decent barrier and now it's pretty close uh, to, you know, walkability to downtown. Everything's within minutes. So there's an, a lot of opportunities for fix and flips. So you'll drive down the neighborhood, see some beautiful houses, exteriors that have been redone next to pink and purple houses. Mountain View Heights is an opportunity to be a downtown neighborhood in the near future. But for right now, it's still in pretty rough condition. Price points are pretty low. You do have some schools that are close, not the greatest schools, but schools that are close. And there are some you know, criminal activity in the area. It's getting less and less 
I see Mountain View Heights as a potential opportunity for the future. And number three, Mountain Range Shadows. This is perpetually a neighborhood that gets sought out from outside investors or people looking to move to Fort Collins, seeing it as an opportunity as a low price point to get into. If you can, spend the extra thirty dollars to $50,000 to jump up one level of neighborhood. I just am not a fan of Mountain Range Shadows. I don't really think many people are. Uh, it is south of the Windsor exit. We've driven, let's go ahead and drive through that neighborhood and see what you think. So that's Mountain Range Shadows in very, very southeast Fort Collins. It is west of I-25, but it is very far southeast Fort Collins. Mountain Range Shadows, one of Fort Collins' worst neighborhoods. And the reason being is you just have a mismatch of manufactured homes, single family, you're right along I-25. Your entry price is going to be one of the most affordable in Fort Collins, but you're south of the Windsor exit right off of I-25. They are putting a sound barrier up actually just coincidentally recently, but just really shitty houses, old park. You've got by levels next to manufactured homes with cars in the parking lots and, and people's driveways working on them. All right, so that was Mountain Range Shadows. Pretty rough neighborhood. Comes in number three, worst neighborhood in Fort Collins. Not close to anything. Pricing, housing, criminal activity. It's not the worst. Obviously anything in Fort Collins is, is pretty safe, secure. But that being said, it's just not a neighborhood that has really too much future potential or opportunity. Number two, honestly, when I did this calculation and I wanted to be as objective as possible, leave the subjectivity out of it. Let the numbers speak for themselves. Maple Hill came up. Now, five, six, seven years ago, absolutely. This was a neighborhood that was, you know, starter entry point USA on the, on, in the boonies, Northeast Fort Collins, kind of funky, but that's really probably why it's come in at the second worst neighborhood in Fort Collins is because it's not too close to anything at this point. The prices are still kind of building and uh, there are some you know, criminal activity. These are maybe houses that have the median income a little bit lower and so maybe some more domestic issues. That being said, I'm probably most excited about Maple Hill out of every one of these neighborhoods in the, in the five worst neighborhoods. Montava development's going up. So there are gonna be a lot of commercial activities. Schools are gonna be there here soon enough. So you're not gonna have to travel too much. And also you're really pretty close to I-25. So Maple Hill to me actually has some of the best opp future opportunity. This is the Maple Hill subdivision. This is pretty far northeast Fort Collins, near the Budweiser Brewery and the Fort Collins Country Club. A good opportunity here is future development. The Montava development is coming down the pipeline. Cons is it's just really not close to anything. You gotta drive everywhere. Not too much biking over here. Schools are a distance away. Uh, price point for Maple Hill is $388,000, but it's a newer development here in Fort Collins with some great future opportunities. And the number one worst neighborhood in Fort Collins, Countryside Park, Sunrise, and Pleasant Acres. Now, I combined these three because really they're all in the same area. But let's go ahead and drive the neighborhood and see what you think about what's going on here.
Alrighty, the worst neighborhood in Fort Collins, Colorado is Countryside Park, Pleasant Acres, Sunrise Acres. This is in Northeast Fort Collins, right next to near Mulberry. That's probably the biggest pro it has going for it is here soon, Mulberry will be pretty strongly developed. Some cons are that it's uh, got dirt roads throughout, some manufactured housing, pretty dilapidated housing. Uh, it's on a busier road that's uh, Summit View. Its price point for 2020 was $304,000. So this is Sunrise Pleasant Acres and Countryside Park here. This is Sunrise Acres, Pleasant Acres and Countryside Park here in Northeast Fort Collins. So obviously there's some dirt roads, there's manufactured homes, mobile homes. It's a pretty rough neighborhood. I don't foresee the, the streets being fixed or worked on anytime soon, but we do have some cool future opportunity with Mulberry being developed and its master plan. It is where City of Fort Collins is growing and focused on. So those are some cool opportunities for this neighborhood. But right now, and honestly, for the time being, I don't necessarily foresee this being any opportunity for the next five to 10 years. At that point, sure, there'll be plenty of development all around it. The area is gonna be beautiful and it's gonna be brought up just like anything else. But for the next five to 10 years, this neighborhood will continue to be one of the worst in Fort Collins. So there you have it folks, the five worst neighborhoods in Fort Collins, Colorado. If you're considering moving to Fort Collins and you're looking for an opportunity, maybe on the lower side, the lower price point, avoid these neighborhoods, at least for the time being. I think the biggest, the best opportunity is Maple Hill out of these. I think future has great, great potential in the near future, next three to five years. From there, Skyview, yeah, it's nicer. There's more fix and flips that are going on. It's price points increased. And as well as Mountain View Heights, I think there's some great opportunities there in the long term being so close to downtown. But if you can avoid them, avoid Countryside Park, Sunrise Acres, Pleasant Acres, and avoid Mountain Rain Shadows. Those two neighborhoods, I mean, we're talking 10 to 15 years before there's any true opportunity. So there you have it, the five worst neighborhoods in Fort Collins. I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys are considering to relocate to Fort Collins, give me a call, text, email. And until next time, guys, take care.